All right, hey everyone, Wanderbots here, and welcome to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So this is a game that I had started playing a while ago, back when this game first launched, but I kind of dropped off after a certain point just because of time and other things. And honestly, I never really thought I'd be back just because this game is extremely long. But then the television series came out. Well, not television, the Netflix streaming yeah, series. Yeah, the Netflix freaking series is really really good we really liked it and we kind of wanted more and so after much badgering from me and my audience shell finally caved and said yes so we're gonna play some witcher oh wait there's just the story and story and sword yeah so there's a bunch of different difficulties i'll do story and sword for the time being i i will admit i've got a bunch of quality of life mods that are currently installed and I'll probably get a couple more before the next session so things might change a little bit along the way uh, but it should be a mostly vanilla experience with just like indestructible weapons more carrying capacity automatically applied oils uh, a little bit more exp gain and better like loot drops so I don't have to grind I don't have to go back to town to sell stuff uh, I should also be able to fast travel wherever and quests will be marked on the map which yeah, a lot of these do kind of break the immersion, but it is going to make things a lot faster. And that's kind of what I'm all about, because... Because this is a, a potentially 100-hour game, right? Yeah. Uh, especially if you throw in the DLC. The thing is, like, I've heard from everybody that's ever played it that it's worth it. So we're just going to dive right in. And show tutorials? Sure, why not? Uh, simulate a Witcher 2 save. Yes. Simulate? What do you mean? Uh, so I guess there's a little bit of carryover. Uh... I just really didn't want to play Witcher uh, 1 and 2 before this. <gasps> no! Is that Roach? No. Okay, it's another horse. No, he's he's tracking something. He's tracking. Okay, that's not his horse. Nope. Ah. Oh. Might be. Is that, is that Siri? Yeah, I think it's Siri. Sent a raven to that guy's head. I think it's Siri because this whole game is him trying to find Siri to some degree. Well, I thought the girl had pale hair. Wait, no? No, that's Yennefer. I'm really? pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's dark hair. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Followed by the earth. Oof.
There was a mod specifically for this section so you could see his wangle floating right in the middle of that tub. Oh, wait. What's crawling in with him? What is uh, that? Well, witchers get off on a lot of stuff. What? What just... You know I don't find that amusing. Uh, no, 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 no. It wasn't I'm... meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. <sighs> You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. You set this to 18, Wander? Uh. The stream? You better. Yuck. Yuck! I'll just censor all of that stuff. No, but like, on. So. Twitch doesn't generally care unless you're staring at a lot of that stuff. But. Get it away now! It's just a butt. I... <laughs> it is just a butt. Huh. Interesting thing is, I believe this this scene changes depending on uh, your actions in Witcher 2? I could be wrong. I'd swear, I'd swear you could get Triss for that, but that might just be my memories from Witcher 2? I could be wrong. Anyway, uh, yeah, so welcome to the Witcher. There will be some butts. I think there might be more than butts. This is why I never wanted to play the games. Yeah, but it'll be worth it in the long run. Uh. <laughs> Welcome to the tutorial. Uh, let's see. Introduce core gameplay elements. Blah, 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 blah. Hi. Okay, mini-map in the upper right corner shows your current location, surrounding area. Underneath the mini-map, you'll find objectives for your active quest. Witcher vision. Oh. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Okay, I'm gonna immediately go into the options, if I can find it. Options? Aha, here we go. Gameplay? Uh, hey, what's the fisheye effect? I'm turning that off. So, originally when I was going into Witcher, Witcher senses, it would like, make everything super fisheye, and that's not great. Mm-hmm. Lock doors, walk up to them, and press A. Is there a way to zoom back? The game feels very claustrophobic. Extinguish the fire. Ignite the fire. Okay, uh... I don't know if you can zoom out, actually. So is this going to be an instance where you leave, and it's going to be a tiny tent? What? No. This is Kaer Morin. This is Kaer Mor Oh! So, so they were you... talking about Vesemir and such, so did they actually find his master? Yeah, I would say... I, I don't know if Vesemir is necessarily his master, more his mentor. Mm -hmm. He's an old witcher, specializes especially in... But there was... In alchemy and some other stuff, mm -hmm. I think. Lilac and gooseberries, of course. Geralt, stop fingering my toiletries. Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Hmm. Undergarments. Let's keep that camera angle away for Shell's sensibilities. I don't think I see anything else lit up except for that door. Let's check this out. Shit. Mountain Pass is beautiful as ever. But yeah, so Kaer Morin is the Witcher Fortress. They got sacked at some point mm -hmm. in the past. Well, there was mentioned that the witchers had been well what 
allowed the Witchers to be created had been eradicated or they were going to die out or be the last of their kind. Yeah, because they can't make any more, which I'm not actually sure if that's still true, but I'm assuming as such. Um, but yeah, Vesemir is the older Witcher that you saw when Geralt was... I was wondering who his was tracking. Was. Yeah, that's Vesemir. Mm -hmm. And he is a cool bro. I would like to play uh, the Witcher B, where you just play as Vesemir and just be this like old dude. There he is. Pass oh, out. Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm. What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too. Damn it! After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick. No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Oh. Yeah, we get some options here. Ah, interesting. Ah! Ah! Maybe they've spoiled her. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true. But you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that. If she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. So. Wrong. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike. Circus pirouette. Wrong footwork. Enough. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Eh. Gonna be soft. Better not. Eh. Better not happen again. Yeah. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on. We'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? Beat you to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. Now if I remember right, I started cheating really hard. But I don't remember how or what, what I, I tell did. You about breathing through your mouth in rhythm with your steps. 
Siri, cut it out. Let's see. Falling from any height can cause death. Not with these mods. Not with these mods. What is it? Come on. Leap over obstacles. Oh, I see. Really? So falling down from where those ladders were would have probably killed you? I mean, they could potentially uh, dislocate could, your knee or break your But ankle, I turned so off yeah. fall damage. Geralt cares, cares not. Oh, well, never mind. Never mind. mind. I didn't turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to figure it out. Load most recent save. Sure, I'll die, Siri. Siri's coming down Hoisted the stairs. Hoisted by my own Geralt, mod tar. Beat you to the bottom. <laughs> oh, Maybe if you fall. Wait, hold up. What? Oh, I wanted to test something. I think I think I remember how I cheated with this. I talked to Siri. Mm -hmm. No. I don't think it's worth it. working. Okay, whatever. What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth. Farewell, you child. Your steps. You cannot run nearly as fast as dad, uh, dad girls. Siri, cut it out. Eh. Hey, you said we weren't allowed to do that. I said you weren't allowed to do it. When in doubt, cheat harder. The other way. Man, this game is weirdly snappy. What's up, Fesimir? Ow! Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. <laughs> yeah. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? So, tutorial again. Yeah, I'm gonna just tutorial. These games are a little, uh, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say they're a little unintuitive, but I think that's just because it's been a Should while. Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. Draw your sword, Geralt! Okay. All right, combat. Witchers must be prepared to fight foes of all kinds, be they plate-clad knights, ethereal wraiths, or bone-crushing giants. To match the strengths and exploit the weaknesses of different enemies, witchers need to use a variety of weapons and combat techniques. The core tools of their trade are their swords, one steel, for fighting humans and non-humans, the other silver, for slaying monsters. Witchers also have mastered a simple form of combat magic. These signs are not as powerful as the spells wielded by mages, but they can be cast very quickly, with simple, one-handed gestures, making them quite useful in the heat of combat. Witchers are also adept in basic alchemy. They can brew powerful potions, blade oils, and bombs, all of which give them a keen advantage when fighting stronger, faster foes. Draw your sword. Okay. Quick cuts! One, two, three! You'll never learn. Strong strikes now. 
Give it all you got. Never lock your elbow when striking, young lady. Dodge. Position, Siri. Footwork. Remember. I'm messing there. Slow as a fly trapped yep. in amber today. I was trying Do to dodge forward. As slow as a fly trapped in amber. Not bad. Become fossilized. Oh, that's how you roll. So dodging and rolling is separate. And then used to clone dinosaurs now, in the distant Harry. future. Siri, like see how Geralt holds his sword, its angle. I'm too old for this shit. Pretend now, live later. Repost! Strike! Counter strike! Oh, okay, nice. yeah, so there's a parry system in this game. You've probably seen me messing around with this in a lot of other games mm -hmm. lately. And so I'm trying to master Wait it. For him to attack, yeah. Yep. I'm trying to master parries. Now, oh, young lady, bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witches signs. Let's start okay. with Quinn. So signs consume stamina Harry, if your stamina is Quinn too low, is can't cast. Called the Witcher's Shield. Now watch carefully to see why. Ah, it protects you against damage and certain critical effects. Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see uh, sparks fire. fly. See? If not for the Quen sign, I'd be aflame by now. Alright, Geralt. Come on! See that, Siri? Art will knock anyone or anything off balance. Destroy their rhythm. Ah. Time so for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. What does Axie uh, do? Axie can really muddle your mind. It's a stun. Mm-hmm. Erden now. Show her, Geralt. See this, Siri? Couldn't move if I wanted to. Ah, paralysis. It's a slowing Fire. trap. Mm -hmm. Throw a bomb. Don't worry, Siri. Quen will dampen the blow. Why is he be giving all of these instructions to Siri, even though... Because she's supposedly watching ah. off to the side. Mm -hmm. Aiming. There you go. Combat tutorial's over. Continue training, stop training, sheath your sword. Fine. Enough. Continue training at will. Ah! ah. He attacked. <laughs> what a dick. I sheathed my sword and he's like, ah! <laughs> Whoa. You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. A little she-devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet? Siri? Hmm, something's uh, a mess. I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. Mm -hmm. What's in there? It's a body. Is it a... Is it a person? Vesemir. This seems like a vision. I've long awaited this, and you, White Wolf. I like him a lot better with this hairdo and beard. You all right? 
right. <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? It'd take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Eh. Yeah, tell him. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in a tub, and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seemed so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it, your dream? No. The wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. Wait, the wild hunt? Those were those skeletal yeah. clad foes? I have no idea who they are or what they're about, unfortunately. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be downing soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh. How about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet soon. Will it be near Vizima? Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? A stuffed unicorn? <laughs> stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. In certain situations. Hmm. The things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. The trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Okay, life on the continent in Skellige Isles is nasty, brutish and short. War lays waste to the land, and those it spares live in fear of the countless monsters lurking outside every town and village. Monsters are shown with a silver health bar above their heads, indicating you should fight them with your silver sword. You can choose which sword that you draw? Yeah. Right on the D-pad. Yeah, right on the yeah. deep. And ghouls look like desiccated corpses. Now, the whole thing with the unicorn bed, that is the that is the absolute worst thing that you could do with the unicorn corpse, considering how they're supposed to be pure creatures. Okay. This is going to take some getting used to. Oh. Telling me about loot, I guess. Make sure I don't fall. Hmm. 
I'm not used to being this, like, slow or methodical when I move. Striking an opponent generates adrenaline points. Certain abilities you can acquire allow you to perform special attacks Re requiring consume adrenaline points. Huh. Of course. When armies pass, necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. Okay, so food and drink heal me. We also have a horse. Mm -hmm. I'd check. I don't remember if my auto loot is functional. I should check that real quick. The whole corpse situation. Well, if you think about it, it's 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 skin and it's fur and it's exterior. So it, that's sure it's stuffed with something else and preserved to an extent, but it's dead body is still being used to create something I'm else. I'm pretty sure they meant like a plushie as opposed to like an actual dead unicorn. Well, no, no, no. Like, did they actually stuff the remains I don't think of so. a unicorn? No. Or did they make just make a giant unicorn out of another fabric? I'm pretty sure out of another fabric. <laughs> okay, so it looks like my auto loot is just on. Well, I don't know if unicorns yes. exist in the... They, they probably do. They have dragons, don't they? Uh, pretty sure. I mean, we saw dragons in the show. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no, because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. War is not exactly going our way. Uh -oh. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Temeria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledge to restore the old borders, as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. You're just going to pass by all those people who are mourning the dead? I mean... I can go Slow back. Slow now. I don't know if it's immediately important, but yeah, we can check it out. There's also monsters and some other things. I mean, it looks like their town was raised. There's a number of people that were hung. What's going on? Are they just mourning? I think so. There's a... There's a critter. Oh, it's a wolf. a wolf. Don't accidentally kill the woman. Come or can on, you specifically closer. target them? Looks like you're not doing damage. Man, I could do without all that screaming. Yeah, I think... You're not going to talk with any of them? I don't think I oh. can. Watch where you walk. Watch where you walk? He just killed a wolf that was... A all right. Ungrateful townsfolk. I guess I should probably deal with this situation. I think there's bandits up here. That are pelting these people. I don't need my horse. I do need to get up. I've been here. This is funny. Uh... You're gonna follow your debt. Yep. <laughs> How did? What did I tell you? Holy crap! Well, uh, so I I will have to double check that no falling damage thing. Of course. That was when armies pass necrophages. Well, uh, can we not? Let's go before any more show up. Okay, we can just continue following Vesemir. <laughs> but I just I saw a bunch of of you know hung soldiers and townspeople Ever tell you in about the trees this sorcerer and. I knew? Couldn't stop talking people, about how useful they are as creatures. People picking at the remnants of their houses. And, from their blood. Oh, look, there's a big giant <laughs> no, windmill over there. Because by eating rotting yep. corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? At no. least, let's not go off too. track when we've His got Vesemir around. Oh, okay. But yeah, I'm going to try and turn fall damage off before next War's time. not exactly going our way. 
we have aside? The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders, as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. Because, yeah, I can get distracted by everything we go by, but there's going to be a lot in this game, so I'd rather focus on... Whoop. Something at the bridge. A troll? Bandits? We going? Help me! Help! Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, is that the what kind of griffin chicken thing? Oh, yeah, it looks like a griffin. about Vesmir? Has it gone? Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly. But griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... You'd like a reward, I suppose. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail? Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around, gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the inn keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. There's Roach. Even has her name. Come on, Roach. Did we establish... Roach is female? Yeah. Okay. So, it's easy a check. Griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest of the mountains, sure, but here? Near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. You're nearing a village. Don't disturb the peace. Remember, town guards and hired watchmen won't tolerate theft, also won't look kindly on accosting others. Local residents often erect notice boards near settlements, such as villages and cities. They're marked as that on the map. Examine them to learn con learn about contracts, work for witchers, and local happenings. Get off for a second. Yeah, you because... don't want to ride over people. So this is the fast travel system? Ah, that's the one that you had implemented. Uh, no, but I will be utilizing it. Uh, let's see, so store items there for, uh, for, eh, safekeeping. There we go. Interesting so map. Yep. Uh, so there's more than this. There's actually quite oh, a lot oh. of... Actually, I, I like to look at this just to see where all the kingdoms are. So that's Galeg, no yeah. man's land. Hmm. But I wonder where, where was Siri from then? Uh, 
It would have been Sintra, right? Where's Sintra? I mean, it's probably destroyed and gone and absorbed now. Yeah, it's an interesting question, because you see this sun. This is currently op uh, occupied by Nilf Nilfgaard. Right. I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure it might be, like, down here-ish. Hmm. I'd have to check the map, but Skellige is way to the north. Right. Um... And so I'm... Now, they said that Tamaria fell. And... Well, this is Tamaria. Oh, home yes. One time, kings. home of the kings of Tamaria. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Let's see. In-game series from Nilfgaard, I think. I... Well... Hmm. Don't know. I knows what I knows. Oh! Else watch what? it. Little hole. Controls in this game are a little weird. There's not nearly as much like, um, you know, in a lot of games where you can kind of like ease the stick and it'll like the character will move fast to slow and stuff. Oh, so you mean you could have a walk versus a run and this they don't have that. He just goes from sprint, stop, sprint, stop. More or less. Yeah. Geralt goes, uh, Geralt goes real quick always and that's it's a little weird i wish there was like a a slight more like dead space on movement because it's odd pacing like this there's this speed and then there's this speed there's no like kind of in between you just have like kind of two states as opposed to like picking up the pace depending on how much you carry it up okay so this must be the end what? Take that down before there's trouble. That is a coat of arms. The Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is! Drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just pass through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master Witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Okay, options marked with money. We'll open the shop panel. We got food. Looking for a woman. Raven haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. Believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the Lord for help. Now, the alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And, seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Pretty busy place you got. Nation's on the move. Some search for kin. Others just want to get out of the way of the armies. 
They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Show me what you got behind the counter. Buy and sell items using the shop panel. Press A to make a purchase. Okay, so first and foremost, I don't have that much money. Oh, there are cards. So we're buying cards! Thanks for everything. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Here. Black One's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Why are they marking out them lines, eh? Parcel out their patrimony. Give it to their own. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. <laughs> okay, options marked with the triangle will make use of the Axie sign. This sign influences people's minds, causing them to act according to your will. Charm more stubborn individuals who'd otherwise resist during a conversation. Invest in the delusion ability. Just want to talk. You deaf, Stray. No one here will talk to you. If it's company you seek, stick that mangy snout of yours in a trough with the pigs. <laughs> Show that shit eater, Micah. Raven haired woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. 